What is up, everybody? So today, I just uh, got this in the mail. Um, it is the Star Wars, the Black Series, IG-11. So I'm going to do an unboxing with you. But yeah, this is what it uh, looks like in the uh, front. There is IG-11, an E-11 blaster rifle, and what looks to be... Uh, some sort of sniper, a sniper weapon. But yep, uh, turn this over. Let me read you the description. IG-11, one of a ser series of dangerous assassin droids, largely outlawed in the galaxy. IG-11 is a hired gun program. A hired gun programmed to follow Bounty Hunter's Guild protocols to the letter. And there's him on the back. It's kind of like the intention and the different languages on the side. IG-11 it says. And on the side it says IG-11. On the bottom and on the top. So, yep. Let's get right in. Let's just peel off the tape. You know what? Uh, how about I just, uh, just let me just, uh, I'm sorry that it's taking so long, but it's kind of hard to peel it. You know what? Just. more tape over it it doesn't really matter as long it's just a collection a lot of collectors keep their figure like on a display stand i don't really i don't want to peel the box because i don't like when that happens oh, still on patience as you can see i got a puppet down there from my puppet channel um anyways um. Oh. So, yep, here's him. Uh, so IG 11. There he is. And there's weapons. So, let me put it down, and I'll be with you in a second. he is. Now, IG-11, I'm going to just put my head back up. So, yeah, let's take a look at the head. So, I did not like how they put holes. I don't actually know if there were holes in the Mandalorian, and, but, If he didn't, it'd be, and it was just like red or gray, you could put anything in. It's kind of cool that you could like uh, display them right here. And then it's kind of gray. I mean, tan, so maybe it'll look like he like changed color. So let's get, so that's his face. It has a bunch of, it's cone shaped. It's got lots of red. No, this is like it's am ammo that goes all the way around. We got uh 
That's him. His arm. Back. Legs. Front. Arms. And. Yep, that's him. Okay, so now. Let me show you the uh, articulate. So his head can move 360 around in a circle. Just like that. His arm, his, and you can move his head down and up. Uh, but when you do that, it moves the arms kind of up too, so I'd suggest just, and that's his arm, on the arm, where the joint is, they added rubber, so you can bend it, and that bends two ways, same thing on the other arm, it extends out, like that, same thing for the other arm, extends out, you can give you can make him hug anyone you want. But yeah. Um, like torso doesn't move. Besides the... His like torso like right here doesn't move. But uh... And then on his feet. It is not... It cannot, his feet cannot move outward. But his legs... His legs, as you can see right there, they can bend. Bend. Um, they do not spread out. And his feet, in particular, they don't. They can move. So how about it? And, uh, now how about I, uh, give him one of his weapons? So, how the weapons work, I think, is... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong way. It's kind of hard to tell which way is which, because... Kind of hard to uh, tell. But, did I do the review on the whole entire back? I hope I didn't. Um, but, uh, yes. It's got, like, a little tiny holder at the bottom. So, from what I see, he can... Let's see how he... Okay, I'm gonna have to put down the camera. You know what? First, how about I show you his E11. So, that's an E11. It's, it's got its little tiny chamber on the side. Standard Stormtrooper Blaster. Not all the stormtroopers have it, but most of them do. But now, I will put one of his weapons in his hand. So that's him with his E11 blaster rifle. There's a little tiny, if you don't see that, there's a little tiny peg and a little tiny hole. But yeah, I really like it. And you know what, how about I, uh, first I'm going to show you what the uh, this weapon looks like. And then what it looks like on the arm. Then I'm going to strike a pose. So yeah, this is actually, I believe this is. One of the sniper rifles in Battlefront 2 of the game. Here's the scope. Little tiny shoulder rest. Trigger. And now I'm going to put it down again. Show you what it looks like. And there you go. Simple and easy. Now I'm gonna uh, do a pose. So it's a good pose.
like it. I wish his feet moved out. Cause then you can like put him in like a ready position. And I can't really do much because if his feet don't really move and they won't stand properly. Ooh, I forgot to Okay, before I put him in the pose, uh, I didn't see this until now. Um, but if you twist right there, his whole entire torso spins around at the top. So I'm just getting him into a pose, and I'll be right back with you guys. Let's see. guys uh this figure all around is great and fantastic i love it it's excellent No. That's Luke's pose. I don't think he can stand with it. Uh, let me try on his... Let me try on his, uh... Actual box. I wish more of them have... Uh, I wish Black Series... With their toys... Had stands with their toys. Some of them have stands with their toys, but, like, special ones, like, collector, collector ones, and I can't, oh, there, um, but I just figured something out, he has a little tiny holster, I believe, for the E11, and he drops, Weapon, let me just put the E11 in. That's what he looks like with the E11. But yeah, I love this figure. He looks amazing. All out. Um, I could, I could adjust. I can say some things about this. But yeah, like always, wash your hands, stay safe, equals peace.